children of the code has two meanings. One meaning has to do with the fact that we're all children of the code, in the sense like we're all children of the DNA code. We're all children of the writing codes. And that all these writing codes have in common the fact that they're part of a, a technology that is the most significant technology in the history of history. In fact, history is written with the technology. The way that uh, politics functions, education functions, science functions, they all have their roots in what this code made possible in our minds, with our language, and consequently with our world. More aspects of our life, from the room around you to the car that you drive to the kind of mental work we do every day, is connected to that invention than anything else. We're more dependent on it than oil, on electricity, uh, our computers. Everything has its roots in what this technology made possible in civilization and in our minds. So we're all children of the code in that sense, the most significant invention in the history of history. In another sense, there's a vast dimension of our population, close to 100 million people, depending on which experts you, you know, subscribe to, whose lives have been severely diminished, either really tragically harmed or significantly limited by the difficulties they experience breaking through the code, breaking through the code to the point that the their uh, ability to read and write is as transparent to their mind as speaking and listening. For some people, the challenge of learning to read for a variety of different reasons causes them to feel ashamed of their mind, which is a major theme of the Children of the Code Project. It, it causes them to develop kind of un unconscious, unhealthy um, thought processes. Right. So the... <clears throat> The second meaning of Children of the Code has to do with that. It has to do with the fact that there's a great dimension of our population whose lives have been skewed because they never learned to read or because they learned to read, but the collateral consequences of that process has negatively affected their learning in general and their life path.